Hello all, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. So in this particular video, I'm going to compare thermodynamics, which is um, present in gate ME paper and thermodynamics, which is present in gate XE paper. Everyone who is preparing for gate ME and XE, they know that or ME or XE, they know that um, the syllabus of uh, ME and XE is almost same for thermodynamics. Of course, in ME, there are a few topics in addition in applied thermodynamics, especially for example, gas absorption cycle and, uh, and uh, compressors, reciprocating compressors and uh, other axial compressors, etc. But in case of XE, those are not there. That is a basic difference, a basic syllabus difference. I'm not going to talk about that. Okay. Other than that, other than that, the compressors and gas absorption cycle, as I said, other than that, all the other topics are common in gate XE and gate ME, except one or two topics in gate XE, they specifically mentioned a name compressibility factor and the third law of thermodynamics. Those two things are not mentioned in ME. And in fact, in ME, those two topics, from those two topics, there are not much of a question. Okay, even though they ask questions, they will ask very simple questions. But now coming to XE. As I was comparing gate ME with XE for thermodynamics, first I need to compare the syllabus. As I said, the syllabus is 98% the same. Okay, the remaining 2% what I was saying was that uh, third law of thermodynamics and also um, what is that third law of thermo thermodynamics and also the uh, compressibility factor. Right? And uh, regarding applied thermodynamics, in ME there are some additional topics, in XE there are no additional topics. There is in ME the additional topics in the sense there are uh, topics like gas absorption cycle and uh, uh, reciprocating compressor, axial compressor, etc. So in order to syllabus, it's very straightforward, nothing. And there is one thing which I wanted to share here. If a student who is preparing for gate ME, okay, so he's practicing questions, he's attending test series of gate ME, and um, if he wants to, um, if he wants to write gate XE also, okay, he is not focusing with respect to gate XE, but if he directly want to write gate XE also, how well he could perform in thermodynamics? Okay, that is XE. He can perform, or I could say that he will be able to attempt 70% of the questions properly, 60 to 70% of the questions properly without any much of an issue. If he prepared any thermodynamics properly, he will be able to attempt 60 to 70 percent of the questions properly but the remaining 30 to 40 percentage of the questions are going to be very different different from what you used to study for gate and me okay what you used to study for gate and me there are few topics from which the questions are very less or even gate me students used to neglect those topics especially okay, especially get any students only preparing for mechanical they used to neglect those topics but those are the topics which is going to play a crucial role in gate xc what are all those so i'm displays uh, as i'm, as I'm uh, already written down compressibility factor van der waals for fluid and uh, mixture of gases basically these two things we can include it in this mixture of gases chapter itself okay but i am displaying it separately because if you take gate xc paper you used to see many questions have this compressibility factor and van der Waals fluid name. If you just go through it, you will you will get to know. I'm also I'm also displaying you some of the equations of gate X, especially from these topics. Okay, mixture of gases and van der Waals fluid compressibility factor. If you take gate ME, there are few students who used to completely neglect this mixture of gases chapter. Or they will be preparing, but they will be prepared, they will be doing it in an overview, they won't practice much of a questions. But if it comes to XC, it's very important topics, these are. And there is one more topic which most of the ME aspirants will completely forget it. They, they won't consider that as a chapter of thermodynamics, that is thermodynamics relation. It is also very, very important for gate XC. Very, very important. You might expect one at least one two mark question from thermodynamic relation in gate XE and at least one two mark question from this mixture of gases and in addition to that there is a possibility for one mark questions also so at least some seven marks okay you can expect from these topics which are completely neglected in gate ME yes of course in gate ME even if you go for coaching also they will be teaching you these topics but they won't teach it completely as it is how it is required for gate XE 
uh, they will be covering it according to what it's required for gate ne but not how it is required for gate xe especially especially what you are solving the problems which you are going to solve in gate xe okay especially in these topics uh, i already i'm continuously displaying you some of the problems as you could see all these problems are not something which you will be getting in gate me paper or which you will be getting in gate me test series also okay these are something which is the previous year equations of gate xe and you, you you have to believe that this is a previous year equation of gate xe and if you are just an aspirant who is preparing only for gate me and not constant like if you are just having a cool thought that i will prepare only for gate me and i will give gate xe inside without giving any importance if you have an aim of attempting gate xe then you need to dedicate some time for practicing questions which is relevant to gate xe also not only questions which is relevant to gate me okay, that is not going to be enough for you okay so and um, yeah this is basically what i wanted to convey okay in in the sense of concept whatever me concepts are there that is more than enough okay of course there are one or two topics which you need to add as i already listed it out in case of problems surely the problems which you are going to practice for gate me is not going to be enough okay you have to practice questions which are somewhat um at a higher level especially questions from these topics at a higher level compared to gate me and what we did in endurance engineering academy in our gate xe course i hope that everyone knows about gate xe course in our gate xe course also we collected all previous year questions which is uh, which is going to fall under thermodynamic relation mixture of gases van der waal fluid and uh, compressibility factor we collected all those things and we made it as a separate chapter and i solved all the questions in that okay in gate xe course itself okay in a, in a video format i solved all the questions almost all the questions and coming to uh, test series also we specifically designing the test series of course as i was saying around 60 to 70 percentage of the questions will be some will be like me test series only okay it will be like me test series means it will be like uh, me level questions only but the remaining 30 percentage of the questions is going to be specific to xe and especially we are going to concentrate this much in our mock test okay that is the 10 mock test we are planning 10 mock test for gate xe and in that we are planning to do the, these things properly okay so what i am suggesting you if you are going to prepare for gate xe make sure that you practice good number of questions from these topics also which is generally skipped when you are doing any okay that is what my suggestion i will try to make these types of videos for other subjects also like uh, fluid mechanics solid mechanics and mathematics because again uh, those are the topics which is again there in uh, a gate me but there are some differences in gate xe equations okay so how it is different how gate xe of fluid mechanics gate xe of solid mechanics gate xe of mathematics is different from gate me okay so how it is i'll be listing it out soon i will be making that video soon. so i'll be making those videos soon okay so if you like this video and if there was any uh, gate xe aspirants who want to know the basic difference between thermodynamics xe and me please do share this video with them okay that's it thank you